We meet one of the stars of, look, the, it was a brilliant show. It was one of my favourite shows. It was a British comedy series called The Goodies. But before I bring this guy out, let's have a little bit of a look at the trio in action. We must prepare for the trip. Look out, uh, half a dozen jumbucks, pack two, <laughs> no, three coolie bars in the tucker bag. Graham, you better go and whack the diddler while I <laughs> press a clean pair of billabongs. Now, <laughs> Australia, here we come. <laughs> Five years ago, that was on, and it's still as popular as ever, and it's as funny as ever. Let's meet one of the goodies, Tim Brooke Taylor. Let's make him welcome. I would like to apologise for my Australian accent. <laughs> it was meant to be sending me up, and if you believe that, you believe anything. No, 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 look, I, I, I tell you what, last night I actually went home and I actually put some goodies on. I hired the video, uh, four bucks you owe me, yeah. and, uh, <laughs> no, and I watched some of the goodies. They still stand up after all these years. Is it still funny for you to look at? Well, I haven't watched them because uh, when, when they were going out, there weren't such things as VCRs. And it's only recently I've got them. And it would be very sad if I sat at home watching myself. But I've been here uh, these last two days in, in Melbourne. There's a goodies convention. And I've sneaked into the back and watched them. And, and it's very embarrassing. I found myself laughing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Who is that nice young man? Oh, it's me. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, uh, do you have a favourite episode at all? Uh, I think probably the Aki Thump one, when we were oh, bushing yes. people over at Ed with Aki Thump. Which was a bit of a take-off of the karate uh, yes. genre at the time, wasn't it? Ac absolutely. And also North of England, where we all came mm. from. Uh, I think that one. And also there's a, there's a one with uh, a, a geese laying golden eggs and dropping on us. I watched it last night. Yes, ah. I watched the geese gold laying golden eggs. Um, Jack and the Beanstalk one. That's, that's it. Good Fantastic. The and, yeah. and the bike, you used to have a bike. It was a three-seater. It was called a, I think it was called a Trandom. Yep. Now, I, I, I looked at this episode last night, and you must have fell off this bike at least 15 times during this episode. Did, did it really happen? It hurt. <laughs> uh, you know, sensible people have stunt men. We said, no, we'll do it ourselves. And it hurt every time, and every time it, it came as a surprise. And this is what this is extraordinary. We used to go to the hospital. Oh, here we are. <laughs> I, Ow! It's amazing. Mm. Amazing stuff. Was it, um, well, it looked like you had so much fun filming. It. Was, it, was it fun to film? I think that's the, the best thing you could say. No, it was hell. It yeah. really was. I mean, we used to sit there soaking wet, dressed as a rabbit, thinking, I've got a degree, you know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it was fun because we were friends and still are friends. Yeah. In fact, later tonight, we're doing a live England of Bill and Graham, my, which my son has set up. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to be chatting to them. I come all the way to Australia. To be, I haven't spoken to them for a time. Yeah. And uh, I'm going to speak to them this evening. It's stupid. <laughs> Incidentally, S to S, who I met yesterday, they were telling them they were in England, and a very stupid interviewer said to them, um, "And when did you two? How did you two meet? They're, sis <laughs> they're sisters. <laughs> At our mother's knee. <laughs> 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 now, uh, another episode I thought was absolutely fantastic was the the one that included the Rolf Harris. Um, take off. It was, um, I think they were breeding them, weren't they? They're, they're afraid so, yes. Yes. Um, the rather embarrassing that was because we met Rolf Harris in a lift. Mm -hmm. Now, we despised Rolf Harris, I've got to say this. <laughs> and he, he, got in, <laughs> he got into the lift and uh, he said, Ah, I'd just like to say, you guys are lucky like show. Now, if I'd been on my own, I'd have said, Oh, I like yours too, Rolf. <laughs> but when you've got your mates there, you can't, you can't <laughs> say. So the lift went all the way down and nobody said anything. And he just went, well, I just thought I'd mention it and walked <laughs> off. I'm, I'm embarrassed to this day. I live near him now. I, li I hide a lot. Do you hear him at home with the wobble board going, Time to keep the down, sport? No? He's, he's now introduces an animal program in England. Right. And you have to have spot the animal. Oh, yeah. yeah. I think we've got a little bit of vision of that, uh, that Rolf Harris episode, haven't we? Right. That was the outback. Did you realise the outback was that green? No. <laughs> I was in uh, Western Australia, sort of about 1980, and I was on the back of one of those, uh, on a, a farm miles from anywhere, and they suddenly were going on a roo shoot. I couldn't shoot a roo, so I was going bing like that. And the guy in the, the front of the thing turned around and said, you did this to Rolf, didn't you? Was <laughs> 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 that great? <laughs> now, you're here for uh, something they call uh, the Kitten Con Convention. Yes. Which was based on an episode too. I think it was, a, it was the giant kitten. The giant kitten. kitten. The yeah. giant kitten. And uh, how, how did that idea come about? 
Well, you'd wake up screaming in the middle of the night and think, I've got this idea, this junk. I don't know, it's just one of those things. You take a sweet kit and you take the post office tower and it naturally happens that way. Yeah, it was like a, a, a parody of King Kong. Yeah. And it was called Kitten Kong. And uh, I think we've got some footage of that too. Sounds like you're leading up to it. day two of Twinkle's <laughs> occupation of the city of London. Despite strong protest to the police and the RSPCA, Twinkle is still on the loose. Michael Aspel, BBC, London. <laughs> well, I'd like to say that we killed at least 45 kittens in the making of that. <laughs> well, some people might think that a good thing, but not me, because... Because you're a lovable lover. person, <laughs> no. and you want to keep your show. No, no. <laughs> I, I do, I do love my pussy. And, um, okay, I do. Do you know Mrs Slocum? No, no, Mrs Slocum, there's, yes, a, yes. there's a bit of British yeah, humour for no, you. She liked her pussy. Just before we go, could you... <laughs> Just before you go, uh, where, where is the uh, Kitten Con convention happening? It's happening at Dallas Brooks here. And it's wonderful because it hasn't been out in England since 1981. And I went on the internet, typed in my name, up came this fantastic website. So type in and see it. It's fantastic. I'm yeah. living a new life. 30 years ago it started and suddenly I'm with these young people that like the... I like Australia. It's great. Yeah. And I'm a crawler. And you're a crawler. <laughs> well, it is happening. Kitten Con convention is happening at Dallas, Dallas Brooks, Brooks Hall. Tomorrow. For last to day. Tomorrow's the last day. So all you goodies, goodies fans, get out there. Please um, give them a big, big thank you. Tim Brooke Taylor, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Thanks, we'll be back with more Russell Gilbert Live after the break. Coming out next, Jim Owen. <laughs>